Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and if you have, thank you. Comment, like, and share. I want to hear your thoughts on this piece. So today, um, I'm working on one of these fusion, different character um, style swaps here. Who you think we're working on today? Again, the sketch all drawn out. It's a lot. Of, this is a real sloppy sketch right here. I didn't have time to erase my lines, but we're gonna we're gonna just build over these lines with the paint markers. That's why. It's good to use paint markers because they cover um, the lines fairly well that you don't have to really erase them. So what we got here, we got a little Mickey Mouse action. And um, we're going to be building it through this video so you guys can ponder on what you think is going on here. I'm going to speed it up. So we're going to come in with some Posca peach color. It's a color in Mickey Mouse's lower face. Uh, I'm also going to be using the Alpha 6 acrylic paint markers. There it goes. That brand new black Posca so I can do my line work. I did a few pumps, but it was taking some time to saturate. So I put it to the side upside down so it can saturate the nib. The only thing that I've noticed between the Alpha 6 acrylic cork paint markers is that if I pump a brand new marker, those things will saturate the nib within like 7 to 10 seconds. I feel like the Poscas take a little longer, maybe 30 seconds to 40. Um, but you know, one has a matte coat, the other one has a satin finish. So maybe that has something to do with it. So right now with this character, you can see got the blaze being filled in. If you guys figured it out by now, it's Wolverine. Um, but I'm going to do uh, the classic Wolverine with those classic colors. Um, the, the nice sky blue. Um, they got several different variations of Wolverine with like the burgundy colors, brown, mono. But I, I, I like this one. I like these colors. When I was doing the concept, realized they're going to be really cool. Um, I'm working on a Wolverine. Every, a lot of people are doing the, the whole one drawing, four different styles. I did a few of those already. Um, but I'm doing a Wolverine. I've, so far, I've done just the standard Wolverine, and I have three other versions to do. So if you guys check my short video out, I have that video posted, and comment what you would like to see on the other ones. I haven't done it yet, um, so if anybody wants to see like a, a skull effect, um, let's do. I want to do something different. Everyone does the drip. Everyone does like the neon glow. Let's do something different. So comment something that you want to see that no one's done, and I'll do it. So here I am coming in, building Mickey Mouse's eyes. Um, start doing the line work with the ball points. So I can get them nice, clean details. So on the top of his um, his head. I left some areas open because I'm going to put like a dark blue there because, you know, usually Wolverine has the, the mask and it's a black. So, you know, this is the shine from the from the mask, from the highlights. Um, and you could do these any colors, gray, black, white, blue. Uh, if you have a certain light source, I'm just going to do a dark blue just because I'm doing the lower blue. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here with that blue Posca, dark blue. And just going to build in like a shadow effect. Um, I didn't add any of the highlights. You know, I like to keep it simple. Um, you can put shadows all over the place if you want to. But I decided to throw out those sharp lines as you can see there. And I'm going to build some of this like comic book line work just on his head. I was going to do some of it on the body, but I would have to build a lot. And... Um, the video I was already doing this, it was about an hour and a half. So, you know, I sped it up to about seven to ten minutes. But you're going to see some of that line work when I get to the head later on. So here I am coming and building up the blades. Putting some of the, that hair that you see on Wolverine. So here I'm coming and putting in these lines just to give it more depth and illusion. Um, and it just gives it some kind of a style. So that's what you see me doing there. Coming in with the Maltolo fine point marker. Even though it's not a fine, a fine point, that nib is is super fat, but it still works. Building his tail. 
so this piece still needs a little some touch up on the blue so once i build up these lines they're really sloppy you can see the lines they're all, they're all over the place but i build my lines as, as i said but using paint markers you can correct these lines if this was with alcohol um, markers and like sharpie you know it'd be really a really nasty um, um, line work but I, just stay with me you'll see how i build the lines up coming in now building the mickey mouse hands um, putting some bold lines on the blades now I'm gonna come in with the blue, do my touch-ups, my final touch-ups. And as you guys can see, I've been using this blue for several videos. A lot of the Sonic when I was filling up the mass areas and the marker is still going. So Alpha 6 Corp does say that their markers um, last longer than the competition. Um, they do last quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, here I am coming in building up the lines. But I really can't compare them because I don't really, you know, I haven't opened up um, a different marker like a Vapasca and said, hey, I, I've been using these the same amount. And then, you know, this one lasts longer than the other. So here you go, guys. All done. Alpha 6 acrylic paint markers. Got that Mickey Mouse Wolverine mashup. So... You go, guys. All done. Let me know what you think. Mickey Mouse Wolverine mashup.